evening, traders from across the globe. Thank you, as always. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in to my 2698th edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar Carboni. Traders, this video is coming at you on a Monday night. Couldn't, could it possibly be Monday at this point in the week? No, right? <laughs> this video is coming at you on a Wednesday night for trading Thursday, Jan 25th, 2024. And on Thursday, we've got a host of things that we expect to happen. Traders, things are happening quickly. So I want to let you know about all of them. Remember that trading, trading, it's so risky. It's the most riskiest thing you can do on this planet unless you have a stop in. Always have stops in and you know when to put those stops in, right? I don't have to tell you, do I? We'll talk about that later in this video, but you better know when to put your stops in by now. So make sure you never trade without them. It's a risky game. I've been looking at Ethereum and Bitcoin charts and I was gonna show them to you in this video, but you know, they're not really at a level where we need to do anything yet. I'll continue tracking them and I'll come back to you in the next couple of days when they give us a signal. Speaking of which, there are going to be some signals on the board. I'm gonna show you some great stuff tonight in the chart segment. I think you're gonna love it. We're gonna do another question and answer segment because I'll tell you right now, 268 of you responded to my last question. And you know how many of you got it right? 268 of you. God bless you for listening. So I'm going to continue with these questions. And if I know you're answering them correctly, I know that I am doing a good job teaching you cats how to get this right. So we'll get to a question and answer segment in this video as well. But what is on the board for trading on Thursday? The Omni flips from being bullish like it was in yesterday's video and we were buying dips for the day, although we never did get a fill on Tuesday, Wednesday, we never did get a fill. But we were trying to buy dips, nothing ever happened, and now we're looking at something different for Wednesday night into Thursday. The Omni is offering mixed signals across a large group of U.S. indices, ES, NASDAQ, Russell, you name it. So Omni's giving buy, sell, sideways, it's giving all kinds of crazy signals. You know what that means? Oscarism trade, baby, the gloves come off, I get to trade my own way, yes. In fact, we're already short at the highs and we're up about six or seven points already, yes, Oscarism trades, we'll see where that goes. So the gloves are off for me, Omni says it doesn't want to do anything, I get to do whatever the hell I want. Hop in kids, I've been doing this a long time. So we'll figure out what we're going to do. If you hang out in my trading room, I'll show you where I'm getting in and getting out of these trades. Number two on the board, crude oil. Now, I've had a lot of Omniacs and I've had a lot of traders that are on YouTube write to me recently, just very recently. Oscar, what about crude? What about crude? What about crude? Well, I've done some analysis for all of you, as I promised I would in my comments and my returns back to your comments and my replies back. Crude oil is about to offer us a signal. Right now, we are at the perfect spot for you to ask me this advice. I'm gonna show you that in the video. Get ready for a crude signal, you're gonna see one. Then Tesla, I'm sorry to say, I am such a big fan of Elon Musk. I love the products he makes. I think he is, you know, just, it's great to see a modern day inventor in our time instead of having to read about him in the history books. Great man, that will not keep the Tesla stock up. Tesla is hitting all the targets I posted in a webinar about a month ago. Zabid, if you remember, Zabid wrote to me and said, Oscar, what about Tesla? And I gave him three targets in a live webinar for hundreds of you about a month ago where Tesla would go next. I've got the very same chart I showed you in that webinar and I'm going to show you those targets and I think we are starting to hit those targets as I'm speaking to you. So a lot here in this video, a lot going on with the indices. They certainly want to be sold first, drop, get out, and then see what's going to happen, Oscarism style. Crude oil is absolutely about to give us a signal. We love that. And you know, Tesla's got a fundamental reason why it's going down as well. I have been mentioning this to my trading room, to my Omniacs, to my friends and family for about the last year. And I've been saying, listen, if you're not paying attention, the world has caught on and so have the car companies. You know what they've caught on to? Hybrids. We cannot just do this EV stuff. We don't have the power grid for it. When it snows, you guys are shut down across the nation. We need to do hybrids. Now get this, any company, Ford, GM, you name it, those guys that have been around forever, well, guess what they have? They make 
ass-kicking gas guzzlers. They make fantastic EVs, and now they're going to put them together. You know who can't do that? Any car company that started all EV and never made a gas car? What the hell are they going to do? The world is going hybrid. Check the commercials. They're coming on TV from every car company. They've all recognized no way can we just go EV. Now, EV is a smart thing to do. Hybrid's a smarter way to get us there over time. So everything's starting to go hybrid, and guess who doesn't make hybrid cars? So that's a problem for any EV company that started all EV where you have the other companies that tried to mold over the EV, figured out finally how to do it, never actually crossed the path, and are gonna put them together. Those guys are poised to take over in the next three to five years, or the next two to five years. So keep an eye on that, and that's a fundamental longer term reason why Tesla may be having trouble. Chart-wise is the only thing I ever look at, right? The charts told me weeks ago that it was having trouble, and I gave targets to you. We'll look at those in the chart segment. What else is in this video? Well, <clears throat> guess what, kids? My year-end target for 2024, it has been done. I've gone over it several times. I've checked it and checked it and double-checked it and called it back twice and got the good list from the bad list, and I am done coming up with this call. And it is right here. You ready? That's all you're going to see. Wait, wait, maybe I'll show it to you one more time. That's all you're getting. All right. That call is not going to give it. I'm not giving that call to anybody. We have nailed these markets from the beginning of the year to the end of the year with the Omni year end call. 16 years I've been giving you these calls in the beginning of the year. I'm talking 2008, 9. We got it right. We got it right every year in a row. There are two years out of 16 that we didn't get it right. You know what those were? The market went up down and settled where it started for the year, so it never went up or down for the year. No one could get those right. Out of 16 years, only twice did we not reach a target and because it didn't go anywhere. If the market moved at all in the last 16 years, Omni nailed it. When I put that target on the whiteboard in the beginning of the year, we get there by December. Well, I've come up with 2024s and it looks pretty damn good. I am not going to give it to the public. It is here. It is here. It is here. I'm going to tape it on my board, hermetically seal it, if you will, in front of all of you. And I am not opening it until the end of the year. Or if one of you are running a fund, running some sort of a private office, and you want that call from me, I will give it to you exclusively and help you guide you on which way to put your fund. If you're looking for a true master caller of year-end calls. You've seen this happen before your eyes for 16 years. If you want me on your team for your fund this year, you give me a call, 702-629-4755. And if you are serious, I will listen and we'll see what we come up with. I know I could do a very good job. You've got to be serious if you want this year's 2024 call. All right, so now I want to ask you a few questions. Well, really one question with a couple of multiple choice answers. Now, you've been watching my videos and I've told you I want to come up with questions that you cannot Google, that you have to be a video fan and you have to have been listening and learning from some of the lessons I provide in these videos, right? So tonight's question, and I want all of you to reply. You better reply underneath. You better know the answer to this question, people. If you've been following me, you got this one, right? But... We're starting out with simple questions and we'll get to more complicated ones. Tonight's question is this. When placing orders to get into a long or short position, you're going to buy or sell, does not matter to me. When you are placing your orders to get into a long or short position, the question is, how do we handle our protective stop placement? Do we A... Get yourself into the long or short position as quickly as you can so you do not miss it, then place your stop. B, do you get into the long or short position and then keep a mental stop in mind and get yourself out when the market hits that mental price? C, do you place your protective stop, then get into the long or short position? Or D, I don't use stops as stops are for emotionally charged scaredy cats with small accounts. Which of those four choices is your way of placing orders? Please leave your comments below. I always reply to all of you. I want to tally them up and see how many of you are listening. Are you going to comment back? 
Are you listening? When do you place those stops, people? You better come back and tell me the right answer. Anyone that gives me the wrong answer, I'm gonna look up where you live and come speak to you in person. So <laughs> let's see where this goes. Now, from here, kids, I'm gonna take you to go look at some fantastic charts that will depict what and why we're going to trade on Thursday. With no further ado except for this, where do you, what do you say to yourselves after you place those wonderful stops? What do you say to yourselves? The market's starting to move, you gotta stop in, it's starting to go against you, you start biting your fingernails. What do you say to yourselves to keep yourselves out of trouble? Does anybody know? If you know, say it with me. One, two, three. Stops are in. Emotions are out. Rock and roll traders, now let's go look at some charts. Okay, traders, E-mini S&P daily bar, same chart you've been seeing in every video lately. If you recall, we hit a top, came down, hit a double top, and I said, now we need to expect a reaction, and we get the reaction, right? Double top reaction. Then we get back into the saddle, and I do a video that basically says, traders, back in the saddle we go, and up we go, and we break out above the double top. Beautiful. Then we have a couple of days here, and we take off again on Wednesday. And Wednesday turned into an Oscarism known as a swing day. It's not the normal swing days, but it's my style swing day. And that tells me, being that the Omni doesn't want to trade, I am going to sell a rally, let it drop, get out, and then sidestep and get the hell out of the market's way. But I'm going to take advantage of what I see as a swing day, and we'll see if we can make a few bucks on the short side at first in the E-mini S&P. Looking at the Dow Jones Transportation Average, this is deemed the leader of U.S. indices. And if the leader is having trouble right here and starting to drop, so will its followers. Massive trend line. Massive trend line. Stops it again. Stops it again. Here we are sitting there. I've got a neutral Omni. So it's not telling me anything, but you know, I've got eyes and my eyes tell me that we're running into trouble up here. So we'll start off at least with an Oscarism sell the rallies trade in E-mini S&P. And if we get filled, we'll get out and sidestep. Then there is crude oil. Here we go, crude. And if you want a signal, take a look at this. This is the 200 ball moving average. You, we know the street loves it, right? Whatever reason, we don't care. They love it. Look at all the action. Stop called. Look at when it gets above. Stops called and stays above. Here stops. Then here wiggles around. Breaks it, right? Big action there. Stops it here. Stops it again here. Guess where we're at right now as I do this video? We are at the 200. Your signal is coming. What's the signal? Settle above. You can get long. Settle below. More downside comes our way. Now, if you ask me, I think this whole thing's just one big bear flag anyway. But that's a different story right now. We're dealing with the 200 ball moving average. Above or below it will offer a signal. Let it tell us what to do. Don't do anything yet. Just sit tight. We'll see this signal materialize within the next couple of days if it doesn't happen by Friday. All right. So what else do we have? Well, same exact chart. Tesla, Zabit asked me, Oscar, what do you think of Tesla? We were all the way up here, and I said, listen, I'm giving you three targets, 212, 200, 192. This was one month ago in a live webinar where everybody's seen it, and guess what? We hit the 212, we're getting near the 200, and I think 192 is absolutely in the stars. You're going to get under here, you're going to hit the stops under there, and down we are going to go nothing goes straight down and again i love tesla and i love elon musk but i don't love the chart pattern i see here i trade charts not feelings traders thank you for tuning in i hope this helps i will see you all at live with oscar.com